From Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's meteorologist Violet Skybor. Welcome back, everyone. It is going to get quite cold tonight with frost in the forecast for the higher elevations. We're not going to see it in the Mohawk Valley, but we are going to have that cold air present. So plan on needing a jacket before you head out the door tomorrow. Taking a live look outside from our Cavi Tower Cam tonight. Clear skies and quiet. Nice light winds, but again, it is going to get pretty cold heading into tonight. Outside right now, taking a look at the local temperatures. Most places already in the 30s. 38 degrees in Westmoreland, 41 in Rome, 34 degrees up in Lowville, 38 up in Big Moose, and 40 degrees in Utica. As we head down to the Southern Valleys, looking at cooler temperatures, already near freezing for some. Some spots 33 degrees in Skenevis, 35 in Worcester, 36 in Cooperstown, 34 over in Norwich, 33 in Sherburne, and 34 degrees in Hamilton. And tonight, the Mohawk Valley looks to dip down into the mid 30s, but those higher elevations north and south of the Mohawk Valley are going to be around freezing, and some spots could be even cooler than that, dropping into the 20s tonight. That's where we're most likely going to see that frost, but it will burn off quickly as the sun begins to rise tomorrow morning. So if you are heading out early, you may need to scrape your windshield if you do live in those higher spots. But if you live in the Mohawk Valley, we're not looking to see that frost. Then as we look at the nights after tonight, we look to warm up into the 40s to 50s, which is where we should be for this time of year. But you still might want the AC for the next couple of days. Tomorrow afternoon, only reaching the mid 60s, once again dropping into the 30s at night. So you'll want the heat on and even into Tuesday as well. Highs in the upper 60s, dropping into the 40s overnight. But we look to have a warm up as we head towards the middle of the week. Wednesday and Thursday in the 70s during the day and then the 50s overnight. You can really turn the heat off. You won't need the AC or fan or anything like that. Outside right now, dry conditions from our Adirondack Bank, Storm Tracker 2 radar and satellite. Why we're seeing all of this cold air, you can still see this strong north wind drawing in lots of cold air from Canada. That's why we're seeing such cold temperatures tonight and even cool temperatures tomorrow afternoon. But towards the middle of the week, this warm chunk of air looks to slide into the region towards Wednesday and Thursday, which will bring those warmer temperatures. Um, we're also tracking from our tropical tracker. Hurricane Teddy, which is a category two, and it looks to skim along the east coast, but it won't really affect us moving off the east coast as we look towards Wednesday. So chilly as we head into tonight, clear skies dropping down into the 30s, lots of sunshine tomorrow, warming up quickly into the mid 60s, and then clear skies once again as we head towards Monday night and into Tuesday, still holding on to that sunshine. So cold tonight, a low around 34 with frost, especially in those higher spots. Sunny tomorrow with highs reaching the mid 60s. Here's a look at the rest of your forecast. Lots of sunshine to start the week, warming up into the 70s towards the middle of the week. Then chances for rain looking towards the weekend.